Last week, Disney Plus became the latest streaming video service to announce it's raising its rates, introducing a commercials included basic plan at the same price as their old commercial free plan, $7.99 a month. They're not alone. Netflix, Amazon Prime, Apple TV Plus and Sling have all raised rates this year. Netflix now has plans ranging from their basic with ads for $6.99 a month up to their premium plan, almost 20 bucks a month. Amazon Prime Video, $8.99 a month, Paramount Plus. $4.99 for their essential package, $9.99 for their premium. That includes CBS NFL games and local TV. Apple TV Plus, seven bucks a month. HBO Max, 10 to 15, with a slight savings if you do a year long plan. If you were to get all of these five, but just these five, that alone would cost you upwards of $60 a month. Today on Wall Street, the Dow gained 528 points, close to just over 34,000. The market's been very up and down lately, waiting for a clearer picture of where exactly the economy is headed. And it's a busy week for economic news ahead. Tomorrow, we'll get the latest Consumer Price Index report. That's a key measure of inflation. Wednesday, the Federal Reserve is expected to announce another round of interest rate hikes. How much? We don't know, though Fed Chair Jerome Powell has signaled it might be a 50 point hike. That's half a percent rather than the 75 point hike or three quarters that they've done the last four meetings. Mixed news as far as holiday shopping goes. The National Retail Federation estimates nearly 123 million people visited brick and mortar stores over the Black Friday holiday weekend. That's up 17 percent from last year. They also predict holiday sales could jump 8% from last year, more than $900 billion. Yet, a November Quinnipiac poll found 42% of Americans plan to spend less on gifts this year, compared to only 8% who plan to spend more. Maybe that's not working out for them so 